I'm going to take the new inflator assembly and I want to get it lined up just right. Now you want to be careful because it's very easy to get the threads both on the bladder side and on the assembly side to actually cross thread and that's very, that's actually not that good. So what I do is I like to What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, it's actually going to be relatively short, but I'm going to show you how to change out your inflator assembly. Not just your inflator for your BC, but the entire assembly. Now a couple things I want to talk about real quick. Each manufacturer is going to be a little bit different. Sometimes you can have a generic fitting on the bladder of your BC and you can put other generic fittings on there. But for the most part, you're going to have to get a manufactured specific inflator assembly. Now there are several reasons that you may want to do this. Maybe one, you want to go from a longer hose to a shorter hose or vice versa. Or maybe you want to change the style of hose. You can see this is a much wider hose than this round one is here. And it may be a situation where your inflator needs to be replaced and instead of actually replacing the inflator, the manufacturer is going to send you an entire assembly. But real quick, all you've got to do here is come over to where uh, the knuckle joint is here on the bladder system and you're going to simply unscrew it to the left. Now I know somebody's going to question, but wait a minute, do I have to be a certified technician to do this? No, you do not. During the Rescue Diver Program and the SSI Equipment Techniques Program, we show you how to make sure that this is not stripped out and how to make sure that it's nice and secure so that your bladder will actually hold air. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that this little O-ring here or this little gasket is actually still in place because if you're not careful, that gasket can come out and you're not going to get a watertight and airtight seal. So make sure your gasket's in place, make sure it's cleaned out, there's no debris or anything like that. You also want to check the uh, insert area as well to make sure there's nothing in, in the way of it, no debris or anything. I'm going to simply place it back down in there. I'm going to take the new inflator assembly and I want to get it lined up just right. Now you want to be careful because it's very easy to get the threads both on the bladder side and on the assembly side to actually cross thread and that's very, that's actually not that good. So what I do is I like to line it up and if we look you'll see there's a bunch of these little notches cut out and those notches are going to line up with the knuckle joint itself on the bladder and we're going to simply get it in the position that it needs to be. We're going to line up those little slots and then before I start screwing it to the right to tighten it, I'm going to screw it to the left until I hear it click. And that lets me know that the teeth of those threads are actually locking into place. So I'm going to screw it to the left as I'm pressing down. There it clicked for me. And then I'm going to start screwing it to the right. And I can test it and look to make sure it's not cross-threaded. It's even all the way around. And then all I've got to do, I can simply orally inflate. And that lets me know whether or not I've got a small leak. Now on this particular one, I do have a small leak, so we're going to take it back off. And I can actually see that my gasket's not flat all the way down in there. So it's a great little test. And all you've got to do is simply line it right back up. Get her started. Tighten it down until it's nice and secure, and then try it again. And now I can see the bladder's holding air. There's absolutely zero leaks. You can take a little spray bottle with some soapy water, spray it just to verify. But as you can see, it's holding air, and we've effectively and very securely replaced our inflator hose assembly. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But if you did like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.